Hello and welcome to another panel, a demo by yours truly. So after filming the Timmy, uh, the Timmy uh, total episode vid, as promised, I'm going to compare it now with the Greer Lightspeed, the organic overdrive, as it says on here. So I'm playing a Sir Telly into a Victory DP40, clean sound. <laughs> Bridge pick up clean sound. Neck pick up clean sound. So I'm on back on the bridge pick up now. Got ev everything set up midnight with these two pedals. Um, I will explain the Timmy. If you haven't seen the Timmy vid, I'll explain the controls. So top left is bass. Uh, bottom right is treble. And you've got a volume again. You've got this toggle switch in the middle which the middle and bottom selections are um, symmetrical clipping and the top setting is asymmetrical clipping um, light speed is very simple layout we've got loudness drive and frequency so loudness is your volume drive gain frequency is obviously your tone really it's um, very simple layout there um, I don't want to bore you too much going over the same ground, but if you haven't seen either Lightspeed or Timmy uh, vids that I've done, basically the Lightspeed is a creation of Nick Greer of Greer Amps, and he openly admits it's based on the Timmy circuit, or the Tim circuit, or the original circuit, or whatever. But, um, this is a circa 2016 Timmy here, so it may sound slightly different to... Uh, the early ones at, uh, that's all i've got to, to compare it with but the comparison is interesting so let's just go in now and the tim well let's just play that clean sound again switch her on everything i've got the uh, clipping switch in the middle which is symmetrical my favorite position on this pedal for this pedal Go in here now on the light speed. Sorry, there's nothing Velcro down here. <laughs> Very basic. Now, for me, this is like a transparent overdrive shootout, if you will. The Greer is very transparent in that it, when you've got everything set at midnight, it's hardly hardly adding a thing. So let's just have a little go again. Clean sound. It's adding a little bit of compression. It's not much, but it's just a little bit. It, it's there and it, it just makes this pedal a joy. A joy to play it's very subtle it, it's not noticeable in the uh, timmy a lot louder the timmy and you've got to start fiddling around really in the uh, eq to start getting what you want out of it so to reiterate with the timmy if i go if i go Anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. It's doing the opposite to what a normal thing is. You're not so to add bass in. You'd go anti-clockwise on the on the uh, Timmy. Oh, it helps if you switch the pedal on, of course. Apologies. It's been a long day at work for me today. It does help when you switch the pedal on. So yeah, in the middle, anti-clockwise, clockwise. It's just nice with a little bit of bass in. Treble same. You, you don't add it by going clockwise. Add it by going anti-clockwise. I quite it's a quite a decent sound for me is that Back a little bit of trouble off
very noticeable the volume levels I find with everything set in the middle so with the light speed I like to just go a little bit uh, I suppose that's at about two-ish on the loudness and the drive oh, about two-ish frequency set in the middle this is my preferred setting in oh, on the uh, rear light speed <laughs> I love that sound. Tim. Let's add like a little bit more gain, like on the light speed. It's a full of sound, no doubt about it. Just go the whole hog with that and. Uh, if you're looking for a heavier transparent sound if there is such a thing the timmy is the if you want more gain the timmy is the pedal really if i have that set at midnight on the volume um i'm getting close <laughs> sound real light speed I love that I love that light speed sound it's wonderful if we're looking at um, like I say I think both these pedals are uh, best suited in an integrated setup with other pedal other drive pedals fuzz pedals etc etc um, on they're not really pedals you know just and they're not really an all-round overdrive pedal you just have one pedal and that's it really they are suited for for rigs that have got more than one drive or boost pedal and they sound great boosting fuzz pedals as well so, but we will have a little look at a little bit of lead so i've got the light speed on i'll, I'll just max out the loudness and the drive on the light speed <laughs> it's got a nice bluesy tone to it that pedal when you you gain it out no doubt about it right different animal now with the tim when we're going to do the same here now <laughs> A lot more chewier and uh, deeper and bigger sounding. There's bottom notes. Big sound, light speed. You're not gonna get more. Uh, what's the word? More depth out of the light speed, but it's not designed for that. It, it's just designed for adding a little bit more what have you already got and adding that little indefinable sparkle on it. But, um, in my opinion, they're both classic pedals, and uh, whilst I do prefer the light speed, um, all respect to Paul Cochran because without his Tim and Timmy designs, um, there wouldn't have been a light speed. I just think Nick Greer's tweaked it in a in a guitar, a more guitar friendly way, a little bit of compression and just a little bit more articulation. It's a bit more subtle. But, um, they're both great pedals. Um, 
what can I say? I mean, if I had to choose one, it would be the light speed. But uh, I think if I could, you know, the Timmy, if you could only have one, the Timmy will do more, if that makes any sense. So, like I say, excellent, both of them, highly recommended. The whole transparent overdrive thing, you can call it mythological, whatever, you know, but uh, psychological even. But um, these two definitely will get you in that ballpark if you just wanted to add a little bit more to yourself. So it just remains for me to say, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, stay well, keep well guys and I'll catch you later.